Today we're trying viral TikTok food hacks and we're starting off at Chick-fil-A. I actually just got so hungry. It's because you're pregnant. And you know when I'm hungry, I think every food is good. They have like mistress going here at Chick-fil-A to whoa. Did I about to, yes, about to hit something? To cement. So this <laughs> hack is a Keith Lee. His name's Keith Lee, right? From TikTok. Keith Lee from TikTok. Can we get an order of chicken nuggets, zesty buffalo sauce, and Chick-fil-A sauce? Order of mac and cheese, a uh, salad container. I smell the mac and cheese. It smells so good. It smells so bad. These fries smell so good. You can tell they're fresh because who's eating french fries at 11 a.m.? That's true. Nuggets. Put Throw those in there. Mac and cheese. Can we just skip the mac and cheese? Mac Matthew, no. It looks gross. Mm. Then we put the sauce. Oh, we're doing Chick-fil-A sauce on it? I mean, this isn't gonna be bad. I'm gonna shake it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's watch the video to make sure we did this right. Fries, mac and cheese. Oh, and honey roasted barbecue sauce. Hum, where did you get these sauce? I just trusted you. I thought that you knew the sauces. Wait, it actually looks so good. You can go first. You're pregnant. Okay, you thanks. Go first. I wanted okay. to go first. Getting a little bit of everything in my bite. Oh, just the mac and cheese just looks kind of nasty. Mm. What do you think? Honest thoughts. Oh, so good. I think we just made our own hack by switching out the sauce situation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, that's a nine out of 10. That is so good. I think it's really good. 10 out of 10. Next hack. I might knock out two hacks in one, okay? No. My stomach's starting to feel weird. Can I please have fries, but with no salt? Let's do a McChicken then. I'd also like some ranch. We're still working on our order. Wait, it says continue. Yeah, you have to park I have to. Oh, there's like a parking spot. You know, I really feel like I'm acting like my dad right now. Thank you so much. So do you know what we had to pull up, Abby? Because the fries weren't fresh. Dude, these are piping hot. Feel these. There's no salt on them, so we gotta put salt. They honestly taste awful. There's no salt, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some salt in, in a cup. Matt is walking backwards so I can get footage of him walking back up to the car. He is such a <laughs> dork. There's two viral hacks you're trying out. One is the fresh fries hack. I don't fries. honestly like McDonald's fries. I love their fries. When you take the fries out of the container, you realize how few fries they give you. Like, that's not that many fries. Did you eat some fries while I was gone? No, I didn't. They taste terrible without salt. And shake it up like that. Okay, now we're gonna try our fresh Dude, that you is just so smacked good. your lips so loud. That is so good. Why do you do that? Honey? Dude, these are really good. Are those not so good? They taste just like other fries from McDonald's, which are always subpar. Right? I give that hack a okay. three. That is so sad. I'm gonna give it a six. Next hack is the it's chicken right sandwich. Biggest complaint about McDonald's chicken sandwiches, they're always dry. We're gonna do a, a few quick things right here. We're gonna take our chicken, put it the in the bag. It actually looks good. It, looks it, actually, it actually does look pretty good. We're gonna pour our sauce in the bag. Our other sauce right, packet. Now tell me how this is gonna be any different than just putting ranch on one of these sandwiches. And then we take this, close the top, and shake it. This feels like so unnecessary. That looks bussin', dude. Yeah. No. Moment of truth. Just put ranch on a sandwich. Like, it's not, that doesn't add anything to it. No, babe, it's a hack. I'm gonna give that a zero. I'm giving this one a six out of ten. We are at Chipotle. We are about to order quesadilla. I just looked this up. Chipotle literally made this an official menu item because it got so popular on TikTok. And you can quesadilla fi your <laughs> quesadilla by adding chipotle, honey vinaigrette, and sour cream on the side. I love how when we bought this car, we said we were never gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> we said that with our last no, car. No, you said that, and then I said we're gonna eat it. Wait, is there a fajita on this? It's just a freaking steak quesadilla. We didn't order it right. Matt just got the the correct order from Chipotle this time. Mmm. That's way better. The fajitas really make a big difference, mm -hmm. don't they? Would you describe that as bussin'? Would you would you say that tastes I would bussin'? personally never use that word. Mm. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. If you go to Chipotle and you're not getting the quesadilla, you're making a mistake. So we're about to try some food hacks by Haley Bieber and Selena Gomez. We need to go to the store to grab the ingredients. We need like Oreos and pickles or something. There's a lot of stuff we gotta buy. Here we go, baby. Grabbing these. We're gonna turn this into some cereal. Okay, I'm freaking soaked for this. Ooh, fruit roll-ups. That's gonna be fire. There's so many cool food hacks like just around me right now. All right, I say that we start off with the TikTok cereal hack. This one seems really easy and actually delicious. Okay, we're gonna take these little bites and we're gonna air fry them to be like nice and crunchy. And then we're gonna put milk and make it into cereal. No oh my it. gosh, smell them. Oh. I am so, so sorry. Are you mad? <laughs> What's your rage level right now on a scale of one to 10? Okay. Can we try some hacks, honey, and then pick it up? <laughs> I think I think Abby's ignoring me. I think she needs a break. Oh no, oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. No! It burnt them. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I did 10 minutes. It should have been like a three minute toast. I'm gonna take a break. There was probably a small fire going on in the toaster oven. Are you serious? 
Maybe. Matt is still cleaning up the glass. But we do have some toasted muffins right here and some milk. There's no way this can be bad. It just could get soggy fast, I bet. Okay, let's try it. Whoa. It's, it's good, but it's soggy. That's pretty fire. It tastes like a waffle cone that you get with an ice cream mm. cone. I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. It's pretty good. I was gonna say seven. This is better than I thought. For this next one, we're gonna need some egg. We need a little dish of flour. Crush them up. Pouring this out on the plate. Put it in the flour first, and then egg. And then you throw Pour it in the taki. in the taki. I feel like our breading wasn't the best. Like, I feel like we could have done a better breading job. Not to offend you or your breading skills, but maybe just- What do you mean? That's just exactly what the video The video, like. okay. I'm sure that's fine. Now we just throw these in the air fryer and we should not burn them like this I did to the muffins. This would be one of those great moments if I had a Food Network show. I'd like pretend to put it in and then we'd already have a whole tray made. But that's like cheating. They just kind of keep it rolling like when they're filming. Oh! In the meantime, <laughs> we should try the Selena Gomez TikTok. Oh! It was Reese's Cup and pickles. That is this weird. This sounds like a pregnancy craving. It's Selena pregnant? No. She's not. That's not nice. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. I wasn't trying to be, I was just making like a, that was a stupid joke. I'm sorry. I am not the hugest fan of pickles or Reese's, so I yeah. feel like I'm not a good judge of this. I don't know what I think. It's not as bad as I would have thought. Yeah, that's true. Is the pickles like tangy and salty? I'm gonna give it a six. I think I like it, but I would not crave this. I'm gonna give that a seven and a half. Oh, okay. baby. How do you oh, know if it's done? baby. These don't look that <laughs> yeah. pretty. Nastiest Bosco stick I've ever seen. Bosco stick? Isn't that, what are these called again? Mozzarella chip. That shocked me. <laughs> It's actually it good. Me. I thought that was gonna be like a two and I think it's actually more of like a seven. I'm gonna give it a six. Am I just pregnant or what's going on? I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm not pregnant. I think this is pretty fire. My first task is to butter this bread. You don't need this butter. Well, I wanted to show my special hack. I don't my, want you to do that. Like my it. hands are clean. I don't like it. My hands are clean. It's the hard butter. for me to bake. And no. then I just do this. Gross. And I just wipe it on the bread. Can you eat your assist tomato? Yes, I love tomatoes. My great grandpa used to make me tomatoes because he grew them in his farm. That's sweet, huh? Miss her. That just got really sad. It did get really sad. He was a good guy. Why are you laughing about my grandpa? Hey, wow. Bieber probably uses fresh lemon juice, but yeah, this bougie. is Bad Maddie's Ratchet Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> what if that was the name of our cooking show, Matt Maddie's Ratchet Kitchen? No, Matt. We get in we Did you butter both sides of the bread? Both sides of the bread buttered. So now we're going to leave it here. You do it in an iron skillet? Well, she just like toasted it on a skillet. I, I thought you had to bake it in the oven. We're toasting our- We do have to put it in the oven too. So they didn't have burrata. Burrata? What is that? It's a type of cheese, but okay. I just got mozzarella. And here's our tomatoes <laughs> that have been soaking in olive oil, lemon juice, and salt. Wait, frick. We're putting Parmesan on? Matt. Abby, that's disgusting. You're putting way too much Parmesan on mine. Please don't do that. Parmesan smells like booty. Okay, put that in. You know what? I think I was supposed to put the Parmesan after it was in the oven. Okay, maybe that, it might burn then. No, it's fine. While that's baking, I gotta heat up the marinara. That's from Aldi. I don't think Hailey Bieber buys her marinara from Aldi. Also, keep watching because we're gonna try fruit roll-up ice cream at the end of the video and please don't put more mozzarella on. Not mozzarella, it's Parmesan. I mean Parmesan. That's what she said to do. Abby. So marinara on top. There's no way this is gonna be bad. Oh my God, I'm shocked again. I'm truly shocked again. I would actually make this again. Oh my sure. God. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Kelly Bieber knows what she's talking about. Okay, so the next one is very simple, but Cardi B swears by it. So we need Doritos, sour cream, and just some pepper. Cardi B, I'm sorry, this looks nasty. Dude, anything with Doritos is just not the move. Doritos are kind of nasty. I don't know, Doritos are good. They're too cheesy. You're gonna take a Dorito, dip it in the sour cream and pepper, and then put a jalapeno on top. Gosh, you should warn people about a chew warning, man. Luckily, the jalapeno masks the Dorito taste. How do you feel about it? Mmm. That's good. Doritos just kind of freak me out. This whole video is you complaining about various Jeez. cheeses. I don't like cheese. I'll give that a 5 out of 10. No, I'm giving this an 8. Dang. This next one requires Oreos, so this cannot be bad. It is a famous microwave mug cake. You can literally just make like a little single serving cake in the microwave. Oh, mashing up the Oreos. Sorry. Baby, that's gross. I'm sorry. I burped and let it slipped. You pushed that out. <laughs> ah! I'm so tired. Dude. Can I please take a nap? Can I please take a nap? I'm sorry. I just want to take a nap. What's funny to me, dude, is that you enjoy the process of baking. I don't enjoy baking, but I love eating the baked stuff. That looks, is that good enough to you? That sound is really grinding. This, Matt, this stop. Sound. We're gonna sink our Oreo down. Bye bye, Oreo. All right. This mug in the microwave. <laughs> Get away from the pan. I literally, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm done. We have our mug. Little bitty spoons. <laughs> They're kind of cute. They're really cute spoons. I want to bite with the Oreo in the middle. Look at that. This would be really good with a scoop of ice cream. Three, oh, yeah. two, one. 
It just tastes like chocolate cake to me, honestly. So good. I'm just gonna give this a, a rating of like a six. I mean, it's not a bad thing, it's just Nine out of ten. And for the grand finale, we have ice cream and, and fruit roll-ups. clean this mess up. Good thing, um, yeah, good thing. Wait, yeah, we're the ones that have to clean this up. Before we try this, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It'd really mean a lot to us because we're gonna keep making more videos like this. So the TikTok hack that you saw was just a scoop of ice cream on top of the fruit roll. Oh, gosh. Whoa. And then you have to like wrap it up. Now it's like a little pocket. <laughs> and look, it's freezing. What? It's a hefty scoop of ice cream. Yeah, Yours is like frozen, frozen. Whoa. Three, two, one. Ooh, that's good. This is a nine out of ten. Who discovered this? I don't know. Yeah, whose idea was it to put ice cream in a fruit roll-up? I'm gonna give it a seven and a half because it's like it's good. Why are you shaking? I'm. I literally need to take a nap. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm so tired. This is kind of pathetic.